Hey guys and welcome back to VK. India, the second most populous country in the world. One of the fastest growing countries in the technology industry as well. We also know that if we have to manufacture any gadget, we have to import the components from a country like China or Taiwan. But now, we have successfully manufactured India's first silicon-based processor named Shakti. Let's have a look. The Project Shakti is an open source initiative that was started by the RISE group of IIT Madras. RISE is a research group of IIT Madras which works in the areas of computer architecture, security, machine learning, VLSI, chip design, etc. The Project Shakti is that ambitious project from the RISE group of IIT Madras. And now the Shakti processor is successfully fabricated at the ISRO facility in Chandigarh. This project Shakti has been funded by the Union Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology as well. The Shakti processor has been manufactured based on the 22 nanometer pin fed fabrication process. The 400 megahertz Shakti chip has been manufactured based on the RISC V architecture. The project Shakti has manufactured six different processors in two different categories. They are the base processors and multi core processors. In the base processors, there are three different processors. In the multi-core processors, there are three different processors. The base processors has been named as E-class, C-class and I-class. The multi-core processors has been named as M-class, S-class and H-class. There are also two different experimental class processors named as T-class and F-class as well. The Shakti processor manufacturing project is a fully open source project. And anyone who is interested in knowing the insights of the project Shakti and who want to contribute to this project in any way can write to this email address shakti.iitm at gmail.com and the project source code for the Shakti processor is available at this website address. Now let's come to the question where can the Shakti microprocessors be used? As per the core team of the project, the Shakti microprocessors can be used in low power wireless systems, networking systems, defense sectors and other electronic gadgets that can be used to power the products related to Internet of Things that can be used in high-end servers as well. By this, we can reduce the import of the chips or microprocessors from different countries like China and Taiwan. Intel, the multinational processor manufacturing giant, has teamed up with Project Shakti in helping them manufacture the 22 nanometer chips as well. In July 2018, 300 Shakti-based processors were fabricated at the Intel facility in Oregon, United States of America and they were successfully booted with the Linux operating system as well. But as of now, in 2019, all the chips of the Shakti processor are being manufactured at the facility of ISRO in Chandigarh. So after all these discussions, we come to a very important question. Is Shakti the ARM killer? The answer to this question is, according to the project coordinator of Shakti, he says, we are very confident of starting a trend where India is manufacturing its own microprocessors, CPU architectures and design. But I have no idea how successful we will be and I frankly do not care. In quotes. This is what he says. But as per our analysis here at Versatile Knowledge Media Group, ARM is a leading chipset design maker for the smartphone industry. Intel is leading in server processor industry and we expect and we even want the new players and Indian homegrown players like Shakti to dominate the market for the IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning and other new and upcoming technology industries as well. That's it for this video guys. If you have liked this video about the Shakti microprocessor and if you want to know more, just go to the links in the description. If you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and before leaving, kindly subscribe to our channel for more interesting and awesome content ahead. Thank you for watching guys.